Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We <laughs> daily vlog, so if you enjoyed this video, come back sure tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. We're getting ready to go grocery shopping at the Trader mm. Joe's. Oh goodness! Oh, oh! This is a big drink for a big kid. Oh god! Oh. <laughs> Look at that view. It looks way better in person, but it's still pretty cool on the phone. Um, what at the Trader Joe's on diversity and James is shielding himself from the sun because it's, it's bright. very bright. But they have parking here, so we snuck over here because it's not too far from my apartment. Uh, but we're in desperate need of groceries. And so we're coming here because it's nice, it's close, and parking, and it's with wind chill negative three. We should be able to get one on the inside. Love the elevators here. They have all the little deals. <laughs> it's funny. I think I showed this last time I was here. It's funny, American Gothic. <gasps> Hop on in. She is having a really good time in the stroller, managing all of our food organizing it, keeping a track of it with that wild hair. <laughs> James, he was a lucky duck. Got a sucker. We Did got you... some stickers too. We got stickers yeah. too? I just don't know where I put them. Oh my Look. goodness, but got... everything is sticky. That's so weird. But it's worth it. They really know how to pack it at Trader Joe's. I'm, I'm very impressed. Here we go, delicious vegan food at Fancy Plants Cafe. Well, I came here with Megan and Katie, so we're gonna grab a quick little bite before we get home. Ooh, James, you got banana bread. I resist getting coffee because I have a, a lot of Never oil. resist the coffee. Peter got a bagel with veggies as cashew cream cheese. And then I got breakfast sandwich so it has just egg on it as well as some smoked tempeh. Well, no big deal, just a big kid in jeans walking over to grab a book and start reading it before nap time. You love that Mickey Mouse story? What do you got there? <laughs> nice. Thank you. Yay. Yay. All righty, we're gonna do another Trader Joe's haul. I think, with the exception of these cups, which are sour cream and onion, I think everything is plant-based this time. So, we got these, they're so yummy, tortilla chips, um, Shoot, these might not be. I shouldn't have. Oh no, they're, those are plant based too. Um, frosted, shredded, bite sized wheat, some sourdough bread, pita chips, corn tortillas, and some flour tortillas. Everything bagels. Oh, shoot, I didn't check these either. No, those are, those are plant based too. We got organic. Italian artisanal pasta. Look how yummy those look. And Evie got some peanut butter treats. So this is all the like bready things. My hair is a little wonky from having a hat on, but I'll let you know what meals I plan on making once I'm done with the haul. I forgot these in the bread section. So we got some non crackers. And then this is like our frozen food stuff. So we got more of the falafel. We like the soy chorizo. Um, we got some beefless ground beef, the enchilada casserole again. This was the naan that we had at Christina's that you like fry up in a pan. So good. Some vegetable samosas, some roasted corn, and 
veggie dumplings as well as waffles. The gluten-free ones were the only ones I could find that were plant-based. We actually did not get much canned anything, so I just threw that in here with um, with this northern beans. I'm going to make a chili with this corn and the beefless crumbles. Um, and then Peter got some fancy coffee. Okay, and I realized I was super silly to say that it was all plant-based because I got some Colby and Jack cheese as well as just like six eggs. Um, I have my glucose test this week and I was just talking to my midwife about like what to eat beforehand. And so there are a lot of plant-based protein options that are like higher in carb, which then means sugar, which that's what the glucose test is like you want to avoid beforehand. But obviously I took it, I was totally plant-based with James's pregnancy. So I would have been able to figure something out. But after we talked about eggs, I had a real hankering for hard boiled eggs. So just got a little six pack for this week. And then James also got some Greek yogurt. But I think that's truly everything that's not plant-based. All right, this was something frozen that I missed. Again, I, I've i been, ha like my gusto for cooking definitely is back, but it's always just nice to have like, I think we struggle like knowing if I have to cook, it's either that or take out. And so this is just kind of like something nice and easy to have on the back burner. These are like, Snicky snacks and sa sauces we got. So there's salsa, hummus. So this is the Greek yogurt. And then here's a couple of different kind of plant-based yogurts for Jamesy. Um, oh, I guess this one, these ones are Greek too. And we got this Malabar curry sauce, a chunky tomato and pepper sauce. This vegan caramelized onion dip. Last week I only saw it with dairy, so I'm excited about that. And then trying this, their vegan cream cheese. Honestly, cream cheese is probably one of the, like, is like one of the closest things like that I've tried that is like trying to replicate a taste. And so we'll see if we like theirs. And then we have some figs and dried cranberries. It's our favorite of James. I would missed these, so that's another little, ready-made thing we have is spicy lentil wrap and then for our like drinks um we have almond milk and oat milk we are we mentioned before like having james like wean off of formula and it's just important that we're we're trying to find something good that has good fat content but most importantly vitamin d and these actually are great. They do still have like some filler ingredients, which we've been trying to also find, but like find milks that are clear of, but these hit most of our check boxes and we can get other, you know, important nutrients in other ways, like food, because he eats a ton. I'm out of breath. <laughs> um, we got pink lady apple kombucha and pineapple kombucha. Lastly, our produce, we have spinach, romaine hearts. For fruit, we have blueberries, pineapple, limes, and strawberries. We have cauliflower, florets, these little mini cucumbers we're trying out, some grape tomatoes, some yellow onions, some peppers, shredded carrots, handful of avocados, again a good thing of protein for me to eat before my um, test this week. I'm actually also like doing my blood work as well as my Rogam shot. I'll actually talk more about my appointment later today because I realized that like I had such a bad headache I just like came home and didn't mention it. And then potatoes. I got this little sparkling lemon strawberry apple cider vinegar drink. And Peter, like he mentioned, got the La Cologne. Oops. Play didn't just shake that up. So, just in case you're curious, I'm being transparent with 
like doing these grocery hauls and us trying to be conscious of it too. Um, I was hoping that we would have spent less money than we did our last Trader Joe's haul because I wasn't as like <sighs> blinded by like excitement. But we spent about $10 more at $185. I do believe I was more intentional shopping this time because I have actual meals planned. Um, and I also think that this set of groceries will last longer. Um, so again, kind of don't really know like the value there. I am curious. We haven't been shopping at Aldi in a long time. Um, and they were our go-to in Florida, especially for produce. Um, Obviously, they don't have as much there, but I'd be just curious to see if doing a similar haul, what it would be. Um, I don't know, just something. Maybe our next time we'll go to Aldi. And I will get my phone really quick to tell you my meal plans. The thing that I'm like most excited for is a white bean chili that I'm going to make. That's what I got like the, the crumbles for, the like meatless crumbles. So that'll last a couple of days. Um, and also just like different than like my typical chili that I make falafel salad. So I plan on making like basically like a big bowl of like all different kinds of greens. I have that really yummy dill dressing that I want to put on top and I'll probably make like Greek potatoes as a side, but with the frozen falafel. So it's kind of nice. Like I feel like a lot of these meals are like a good mixture of like homemade food or like homemade put together salads like next to something that's like ready-made or frozen or easier an easy thing that i have in mind is doing curried veggies i found a new curry like sauce to put on um so do that probably in rice with the samosas i also got the dumplings that are like a good easy side or even like a good easy lunch i'm gonna make the Chickpea salad again. I already had chickpeas, but got the shredded carrots. Maybe I'm gonna make it with some onion this time. Um, but I kind of I want to make that and have it for like lunch for for James and I. But then also like have that with like chips and one of those dips for like an easy at home but like super yummy flavorful filling dinner. And then the one thing I'm also like banking on is those enchiladas. Last time I made tacos and the enchiladas and a salad and it was just like so much food. So this time I'm just gonna do enchiladas and then I think I'm gonna make like an avocado based salad. I've done it before um, where that's like, instead of like mashing it up like guacamole, like chopping it up into cubes um, and lime juice and just like really yummy and fresh and I got a really great salsa. Um, I also got that chorizo. So I don't know, there, there'll be probably a mixture of ways like all of those foods can be eaten together. I also plan on, like I said, making um, either hard boiled eggs, that's what I have a taste for, or um, I got like small corn tortillas to make chorizo and egg tacos, but then maybe Peter would just not have the egg on his. So I always like to have an option then if I am going to be eating something that's not plant-based, a full option that Peter can also have. We also have beans still. We have like a lot of canned stuff. We also have a ton of rice, quinoa, and couscous. So we have good bases. So I think that that was a great haul of just like enhancers and I, I'm excited about all the food. I, that, that's like something I really need is like the gusto to cook and to be excited for um, what we're gonna eat. So I'm hopeful that we'll do another, have another good week of eating at home. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to cook. That's that's half my battle. I'm walking to the gym with a wind advisory. With the wind chill, it's negative three. I wasn't feeling this run to begin with. And then I got 80% of the way to the gym and realized I didn't bring my shoes. So then I had to go back to my apartment, but now I'm walking up to my gym now. So just knocking out four miles while James is taking his nap. Hopefully he stays asleep for Sarah until I can get back. And then we'll see where the rest of the day goes. Two, three hours later. Oh.
what you got. Jamesy and I, and Peter, <laughs> we all had a nap battle. <laughs> but Mom and Dad won a bench. Now we're awake. We had some chips and dip. What are we going to do now? We should lint roll this. Wait, this on here. You going to cook dinner? Did you guys ever know that forehead kisses are Evie's favorite? I edited the vlog. Peter went and ran. Now what are we gonna do, guys? Oh, dashboard. Please. Oh, good. We're having breakfast for dinner. James is starting off with some yogurt before he has waffles. He hasn't had yogurt in a while. Yeah, he, loves his he does. Look how good he is. I mean, he uses a spoon consistently upside down, but he gets the job done. Yeah, his technique is there. Three hours later. Should we be going to bed soon? Probably. Yes. Nice. So <laughs> we're pulling a uh, Brookhart, a card from the Brookhart Project deck, circa 2018, <laughs> and we're making a uh, homemade nacho platter at. Like 10, it's, it's 10 o'clock? 10 30 maybe? Yeah. I don't we know. This is preheating. This. We would have done this before at like 2 a.m. Yeah. So we're still having some kind of control. It's, it's like do you guys, sleep plan based. Yeah. Do you guys think we have self control? Put a comment down below. I'm, I'm ready for it. <laughs> I'm ready to hear your, your truthful, raw reactions because I'm going to be honest. I think it's going to be about 50 50 in the responses. <laughs> <laughs> These are cumin style black beans. Green chilies, the Romanesca dip, and then this, and then I'm gonna put like make an avocado concoction. Oh, Sarah's getting fancy with it. I had this idea while I was putting down James, <laughs> and I came out, I was like, do you wanna make a Chinese tray of nachos? There's a party going on upstairs, do you hear? There's a duck, <laughs> it's a duck and quack. So say a prayer they don't wake up our child. It's um, okay if they do, they're yeah. just having a good time. <laughs> I, Evie's like sniffing out the chocolate I brought over here. We're waiting for the nachos to be done, but I said I wanted to give like an update on my appointment yesterday. And so basically I got all the paperwork to like register at the hospital and like sign my consent for like VBAC, like for vaginal birth after C-section, that's what VBAC means. And next week I'm getting third trimester blood work. They are going to like make sure I'm like, I test correctly to like get the Rogam shot and then do my glucose test. They- Sarah loves a glucose test. I do. It's sugary and delicious. <laughs> um, and then we mentioned my placenta is still low lying. There's like people right next to- What's, what's gonna wake up James? I'm sorry. Is they're gonna be right outside of our door and it's gonna- Anger Eve and Eve's gonna yell at them and that's what'll wake up James. Yeah, she's a good car dog. Um terrible hunter. But my like so the location it needs to be it needs to be two centimeters away from my cervix, the the placenta. And it's 0.45. So the thing was it didn't change at all from last time. If it had changed a little bit but it still wasn't two centimeters. They might have been a little bit more hopeful. Oh, it's moving, but it's not. But it hasn't, but that doesn't mean it still couldn't. Also, they're gonna test 32 weeks, and that's typically when you know for sure. But they could, they could like, s the same thing could happen again. Like, it could go up a little bit, yeah. and they'll just keep monitoring it. But, basically, that means, what? I'm just looking at you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Um, but basically that means I would have to have a C-section. <laughs> so after... Which we're okay with. And I'm actually, totally at actually, peace. like, makes the decision even better. <laughs> Funny enough, it just... <laughs> I, it's really heavy. <laughs> Funny enough, I told my therapist that, and I was like, am I feeling a little, like, relieved? And she was like, that's a, that's, like, definitely, like, that was, like, the last thing I mentioned at the end of our session. And she was like, that's something 
you should maybe sit with and think about it. Um, so that is the update. I just thought like the paperwork and stuff was fun. Um, we could just so schedule a hospital tour. Guys, like we live in an area that like none of our family has lived in and we have like experience in. So like we've never been to this hospital. I got this suggestion for this midwife group from a friend on the internet. It's called um, the interwebs. <laughs> so like we're kind of, this is just like totally, it's basically like how we gave birth in Florida. Like, yeah. So that's our update. And we're gonna start watching Peaky Blinders. Wow. None of our avocados were just ripe enough. So we're gonna top it with jalapeno and the creamy dill. It's honestly 50 degrees in our bedroom. <laughs> it's so cool. I like. How can you tell the temperature of a room when you don't have a thermostat? I don't know. We need to get one <laughs> and put it in the middle of the room. Because it is cold. Like, not exaggerating. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.